Hey folks, how y'all doing? Fat Guy Flies RC. Well, second flight of the Carbon Z Cessna 150T tonight. Gonna take her up again. Running another 5000 6S Smart Pack with a 30C Gen 1. And uh, like I say, my only complaints with this plane, well, there's three complaints. The battery hatch doesn't secure really well. So you really have to make sure she's snapped in good, but with a hard hit, she'll pop right off. With a, with a hard landing, she'll pop off. I wish it had glass instead of a silvered out canopy. That's just a nitpick. The other design that actually is a design flaw though, is you look at that rudder wheel. It's got a lot of slop in it and it, and it will make it very prone to ground loop on you. If you're not on the elevator but it doesn't have a good strong solid connection just like the draco it it kind of is sloppy and uh i'm not crazy about that but other than that she's a solid bird and those really are all things that you can live with Just a nice little stall turn. I just kind of took her up, gave her a little bit of rudder. Time remaining, five minutes. And then had her just flip right on over. This is another of those planes that I felt perfectly comfortable with right off the bat. Bring her by nice and slow here. Flaps are down. You can get a good look at the markings and how pretty that plane is. Flaps up. There's she'll knife edge for you. She flies an awful lot like the Timber Turbo Evolution, just a whole lot bigger. Plenty of power to get up out of a tight turn or a tight situation or a tight whatever. <laughs> um, full smart telemetry and all that stuff that none of which I use <laughs> bring her by nice and low there low and slow Touch and go. Spring her by slow and very close to me. Try not to hit myself. That's about as safe as I feel, sorry. All right. Do that again. <laughs> there again, I am the only one here. I'm the only one here, which is nice because I can, you know, fly the way I want, fly where I want, stand on the runway, stand wherever. But here is the irresponsible part. If I get hurt, snake bit, have a heart attack, get cut real bad with my prop, I've only got, I've only got my, now that was bad, I've only got myself to rely on. You know, if I'm out there in the middle of the field and get hit by my own plane, 
you know I don't have my phone on me it's over there by my radio box well <laughs> so you have to kind of plan ahead and the best thing you can do is you let people know where you're going to be what time expect you back you know and then once you leave say hey I'm on my way home now or they and they know right when you left so that about the only precautions you can take if you're going to be by yourself and you can't guarantee that you can get to your phone landing flaps. all right let's see if we can't do a nice little grass landing here But, like I say, with all things, there's always some degree of risk. And, uh, and I know I'm just flying around in a pattern here. But this is what I like to do. <laughs> I mean, I can take her up and... Do rolls and loops and all those good things you know all of which put stress on the airframe you know no that's but that's you know part of it's what the plane is designed to do but this is a scale bird this bird does exist as you see it <laughs> other than the fact it doesn't have blacked out uh, silvered out windows it does exist in real life it's a carbon cessna 150 which is a real plane And they do have it in a tail dragger like this. All right. Let's see if we can do a stole takeoff with a Cessna. There you go. What was that? Eight feet, 10 feet? <laughs> All right, let's actually land on the runway. Using landing flaps. All right. Up. So got 41 seconds. I think we can got enough for one more. Take off on the runway here. land this time with no takeoff flaps try to slow her down there a little bit <laughs> oh come on we can do better than that 'Cause that's what I was looking Five, for. Off. Is that not one beautiful, beautiful plane? Folks, there you go. That is the Carbon Cessna 150T. Carbon Z Carbon Z Cessna 150T. T stand for tail dragger. 6S bird. Let's look at our uh, flight time here. See how much left on the battery. Oh gosh, I still got over half. 3.91, 3.92, all the way down. So yeah, I could have flown for another three or four minutes. All right, folks, and that was a five and a half minute timer. So you can get 10 minutes of flying on a 5,000 if you, you know, mix flying, maybe 12 if you really baby it. But if you're gonna fly are pretty rough, a lot of takeoff and landings, eight to, you know seven eight minutes something like that if you're gonna really do a lot of tricks a lot of power but uh just to show you how well if at a slower speed the tail wheel 
can be quite effective. Um, there's just enough grab. But if you get any kind of real speed in her, then see the tail wheel goes crazy. See it sideways. Now the springs are gonna, you can see it kind of reacts with the uh, rudder, but sloppy. And uh, I would just soon have those, instead of having springs, just have straight rods. And I might do that. Um, but like I say, those springs are what absorb some kinetic energy, but at the same time, give you a slop. So you're, you know, it's your trade-off. If you take it straight and have a precision movement, then that kinetic energy is going to go somewhere else. So the question is, is where? All right, folks, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and then planes. Bye-bye.